Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to book appointments with these people using Twitter DMs. Okay. So if you don't know who I am, my name is Alex. I run a six figure agency. And as of right now, my number one lead source is Twitter DMs. Okay. And I'm going to show you everything that I know on how to get those types of people to respond. Okay. So let's get right into it. So right off the bat, if you are a little bit worried that maybe you don't have a ton of followers and you're like, Alex, okay, I do want to get appointments with those people, but they're not going to answer me. Just look, look at my profile. Profile, okay. Um, I have 200 followers, which is nothing. And this is like a lot compared to what I had when I got some of those responses, right? When I started off, I had like six followers, nothing. 200 is still pretty much nothing, but it's a little bit better, right? But ideally what you want to have is a really clean cover photo, a really clean profile picture. And you just want your profile in general to look as slick as possible. So you want to have a clean at, you do want to be verified, just get it. It's eight bucks a month. And then you want your description or your bio to let people know right away what it is that you do. Okay. Ideally, you want to have your website and then if you have any type of free content or maybe so, some people do like book a call here so you can go ahead and do that and then you do want to have some content it's just going to make your profile look a lot better and your profile is kind of like your landing page what, what your landing page would be for email is basically what, what the profile is for if you're sending twitter dms right because when you receive a twitter dm the first thing people do is look at your profile and if your profile isn't primed up then they're really not going to answer so you do want to make sure your profile looks as clean as possible okay so once we have that squared away you want to click the link below go to drippy.ai and that is my tool of choice so that's getting me a ton of ton of book meetings i'm going to show you exactly how you can get it set up all right so let's get right into that so this is one of my burner accounts and i'm going to show you exactly how to set up drippy which is the automation tool i use to set up your cold email campaigns all right so you want to go to drippy.ai and you want to click on get started for free it's going to be really really simple you just want to sign in with your twitter if you're already signed into your Twitter account from the same browser that you're on, then it'll just, it'll be super quick. Use the Twitter API. You want to authorize the app and then there you go. You're in basically. All right. Then it's going to ask you for your email and password. It's going to ask you to install the extensions. Okay. So once you sign into your Twitter account using the Twitter API, then it's going to ask you for an email and password. Just go ahead and put your email and password in. And then you do want to follow Jane. Jane is the owner of Jippy and whenever there's any updates, he'll update you via Twitter. So I do recommend you follow him right there. And then you want to click continue. Um, and then it's going to ask you to actually install the Chrome extension. So you, so you do want to be on a Chromium browser. You want to click on the extension. You want to add it to Chrome, check, add extension. It's going to start downloading. There we go. So you just want to pin it. Okay. So once you download the extension, it's going to ask you for your email and password. So just go ahead and do those again. Then once you click sign in, you will be prompted with the new screen. So I'm going to actually go back to one of my other Drippy accounts. Okay. So once you are in Drippy, you'll be prompted with a similar website to this. And what you're going to go ahead and do is you're going to want to click on find leads. Okay. So you click on find leads because that's the first thing we need to do. And you're going to click on new lead source. So we can do three different things, but honestly, the one I use the most is just the lead scraper. And then you could either do a tweet source or an account source. So I'm going to show you guys what I mean by that. All right. So what you want to go ahead and do is you want to go to Twitter, right? And on Twitter, you will probably find people I'm going to use Serge Guattari for this example. He does a bunch of these giveaways, right? So basically what the tweet source will do is it'll scrape everyone that interacts with a specific tweet. So a specific giveaway. So all these posts were like, like comment and retweet. Um, and I'll DM you something so you can go ahead and scrape those from other people and then just reach out to whoever interacted with those. But what I personally like to do is account source. So you're going to click on account source. And then what you have to do is you just go to whoever has your target audience's attention. You go to their Twitter and then you just, you just copy the link and then you go in here and then you just paste the account. You want to do followers following. You can do either or, or you can do both and then you want to add okay now it's going to start importing a preview you want to click on next the number of leads is going to show up here so this one should be like 15k yeah it's around 15k so 14.6k is what it's going to say um and now really depending on your niche you want to start going into these filters so by number of followers this really really depends on how qualified you need your prospects to be so this is really just a matter of testing the number with your niche okay why because it's not going to be the same thing if you are targeting real estate agents per se like real estate agents are probably not going to have a lot of followers. So that means you would have to pick your accounts really well and your bio contents, which is what I am going to get into now. Okay. So 
these are the main two I use. So number of followers and bio contents. For number of followers, you really do have to test. But for bio contents, this is where the meat and potatoes is, okay? You wanna click on bio contents, then you wanna click on add element, and you wanna click on word, right? And then how I typically do it is I go to whoever I scraped, I go to their following, and then I see who is in here that I would wanna reach out to. And then I just add words from these people, like words that these people have in their description to my search. So I would do um, B2B, outbound, B2B, outbound, see what else we can find in here. Seven figures would be a good figures, just the word figures. We're gonna add an element, another one word. Let's see, built, built is probably a good one. Built, you also wanna do agencies and then a, a lot of people especially in like the sma niche if you're targeting other sma owners or coaches consultants people always do help or helping helped um build is also a good one that we already have built we can also say building so for the most part, this is how we go about it. So you literally just want to go through and then see what these people have in their bio and then just take words from here and put them back into Drippy. And then you want to add the filter and then it's going to get this list of leads down all the way down to 4.2K. And then with the number of followers. So for this example, we're just going to do 10K, which if you are having issues with the lead quality, then the number of followers will definitely improve that. Okay. So if you're only reaching out to people that aren't qualified or that maybe can't afford your services, the solution most of the times is just to up the number of followers that you're scraping, okay? So this means that our list are, are people that follow or are followed by Serge Guattari, and then that have one of these words in their bio and have a following of over 10,000, okay? So then we're gonna do next, and we're gonna give the lead source a name. You can preview some of the leads on here. You can give it a name. I usually do the date, and then I'm just gonna do demo. If you're managing multiple accounts, then I would personally just do like one of these specific accounts that you are taking over. And then, right, I'm just gonna do date demo and then you wanna save it. There you go, it's gonna start importing. This is gonna go back and then it's gonna give you a percentage. All right, so next up, once we have our leads, we have to set up the automations. We're gonna click on automation and then we are gonna click on new automation. We're gonna click on cold DM and here we go. So now we can find the list of leads that we have just scraped. So we're gonna do demo leads, date demo, and then it just says 15 because it hasn't finished loading, right? So we're gonna click on next. All right, so this is where things get interesting. So you're probably gonna be prompted with this screen right here. So it's gonna say script personalizer and then configure message. Um, but before we get into that, we actually wanna go into background because one of the selling points why I love this software Trippy so much is the fact that we can actually integrate ChatGPT or AI to personalize our DMs, okay? So we're not gonna be sending out the same message each time. We're actually gonna personalize them. So each message is gonna be different. So you just wanna add your name, your title, Title, the name of your product category and then this I typically take from my Twitter right so this is gonna ask you for your description and then that's my description so once you're done with your background information you want to click on configure message and then this is where we're gonna start um, creating our message right and typically how it goes is you want to do some sort of intro like hi and then first name. And what's great about Drippy is it, is it isn't actually gonna take their first name from like the first name where their first name is supposed to be. If it's somewhere in the bio, it'll take it from there. If it's on the email, it'll take it from there. So you'll always have the correct first names. And then I do a space. And then this is where things get interesting. So what I do is this right here, and I highly recommend you copy this. So I do insert one sentence, a one sentence, personalized compliment that uses info about the lead, do not repeat any exact information from the bio, right? We do not want our messages to be just a copy and paste from whatever people have in their description. So with this, you are ensured that that's not gonna happen, right? And then that's the most important part. So just <laughs> literally just steal that and you'll be good to go. And then here is where I typically do the pitch, all right? So if you're running cold outbound, just do the pitch, um, make it short and sweet to the point. I do have another video going over exactly how to write a good, opening DM. Just look for that video somewhere on my channel. And so basically, let's just do a quick little demo one. So it's going to be high first name and then personalized first line. And then I'm interested if I could get you that many number of leads by tomorrow. <laughs> now I see that you wouldn't be sending that, but here I can actually show you what, what I'm sending. So this is what I'm personally sending. You can switch it up to fit your specific niche, right? Create an automated way to monetize your Twitter that's generated over 100 revenue for our clients. We'll set up for you interested, right? Or you can do, I've created an automated way to get more clients to get 50 new clients per month generated over 5 million rev for my clients. 
interested, that would make a little bit more sense. Um, but the thing is, just just have a good short and sweet message that goes straight to the point, right? And that that's what you want to have with this right here. The personalized first line is super super important. All right. And then after that, after we have our message, we're just gonna click next. We're gonna give our automation a name. We're gonna name so demo demo and the name. You don't want to do more than 16 per hour, so that's the max. Start out at around 10. Um, you could even have it be lower if you're not really that active on Twitter. But I typically do anywhere between 10 to 16. If you do 16, you'll end up with 384 messages a day, which is just under the 400 limit on Twitter. So yeah, the most you want to do is 16 per hour. And then once your account is warm, the least you want to do is 10 per hour. All right. So after that, you just click start automation and you are sending. All right. It will start sending within a couple minutes and you will be good to go. All right. So that is pretty much it for today. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Also, if you want my team and I to come into your business and get this set up for you, we can send upwards of 50,000 messages per month. Click the link below, book a call with me, shreddergill.com. That should take you to my landing page. And then I'd be more than happy to chat about what we could do for you. All right. So hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you got some value from it. If you have any questions, just hit me up on Twitter and we will talk soon. Peace.